Hi everyone, this is Brenda and Tim from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day. We have another very large pantry haul for you today. It's way overdue, but I need to get my pantry more organized. I have a hard time walking in there right now. <laughs> so we need to put things away, and but I wanted to share with you guys what we got in the past few weeks. We, our life has been a little bit chaotic, <laughs> but uh, we're glad to have you here with us today. So pr a couple price prices uh, shocked, have shocked me <laughs> uh, with shopping lately. We did get a watermelon because they were $5.99 a piece this week on sale. Just two weeks ago, they were $11.99 a piece. And we were like, nope, <laughs> we're gonna do without watermelon. Yep. Seems like a few years ago, they were like $3.99. Oh yeah, yeah, and sometimes $2.99 right. around the holiday yeah. sales. Oh yeah. God, okay. Uh, also quite shocking is the price of soda. We don't buy it that often, but a 12 pack is now $8.19, which to me is crazy. That used to come on sale for like two fifty a twelve pack, like right. during holiday seasons. This is mostly for when company comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get some because we were uh, pretty much all out, and we did get a couple things from Amazon on adding to our prepper library. This is something that we Tim wants to do in the future. So did get this book which was highly recommended on uh, keeping honeybees and it was $15.39 on Amazon and I also stocked up on some more canning lids and they were $34.95 I really love the uh, for jar, four jars canning lids I've had great success with them so want to make sure I have enough for canning season I also got some spray olive oil, which was $4.24. This has definitely gone up in price. It used to be in the $3 range, um, but we had used one up and I'm replacing that one. And also we are have been doing more chili lately and um, I only had one of these in stock, so I wanted to have an extra one just to put away in the pantry. It was $3.98 for this 5.8 ounce uh, container. And, oh, I did not write the price on this coffee, but I'll look it up for you and put it in um, below in the video. But I got this at Walmart. We had just finished a um, bottle of instant coffee and wanted to replace that. Also, this grilling cooking spray I get at our local store, Hannaford. It's the only spray canola oil that has no soy in it. So again, replacing what we had used. And back here, I at Hannaford in their clearance bins, they had these Bounty napkins. I usually don't buy them because they're pretty pricey but they were blowing them out at $3.25 for 600 napkins total. Mm -hmm. So I got, uh, I actually got three packages and uh, we've already uh, started using the third one. So that was a good deal and um, we'll be all set for quite a while on napkins, even though we are, at least I am trying to cut down yeah, on- we, we cut back quite a bit. Yeah. Cut cut down on napkin usage. And I've been trying some uh, enchilada sauce just for something different with rice and beans, just different flavor. I tried the mild and I think I want something a little spicier next time, but these were a dollar a can and got a couple. And did get some more brown rice these two pound bags were $1.64 at Walmart and replacing what I used of our tub and tile cleaner from Nature's Promise, it was $3.99. And we also have some aloe peppers that I'm 
stocking up on again for making chili these were 84 cents a piece and they're good until 2027 which is great how many ounce can is that that is probably four ounces yeah four ounces and back here just a little snack item for tim it was a digital coupon for a dollar off so with the coupon it was two dollars and 59 cents so a great deal for that and i'll be vacuum sealing those to keep them fresh fresher for a longer period of time there was also a digital coupon for this honey so for 24 ounces it was six dollars and nine cents which is also a very good price and hoping to have a good tomato harvest this year enough to make some more salsa we really enjoyed the salsa i made last year so i got a medium salsa which was uh three dollars and 22 cents and i don't know why but the hot salsa mix was only two dollars this was at walmart mm. and i got my some apricots from amazon i normally get them from azure standard because it's definitely a better price but um, we've got a lot going on this month and I didn't think we were gonna be around to pick up our delivery. So I ordered them from Amazon. Um, it was $30.99 for three pounds, which I think is pricey. Mm. But I do vacuum seal them to help them last longer. And one of our local grocery store Shaw's had this cereal on sale for $2.49. Um, they have a Fab Five. You buy five or more of the products listed and they usually have about like 15 products that you can choose from. So the cereal was one of them and also the Polar Seltzer was also one of those items and these were 79 cents a piece which is excellent price because I know at Hannaford it's the normal price is $1.19 a piece. So I stocked up on those. We'll be good for quite a while with those. And a lot of times, well, Shaw's is not convenient for me to go to anymore because uh, the more local one uh, closed. But um, a lot of the items are like processed foods and stuff. And then not to say that the cereal isn't, but it um, doesn't always work out that there's an item or two that I want, but this time it did. And did get some more of our dishwasher tablets. It was $8.47 for 26 of these um, dishwasher packs. And I have been trying out a recipe, um, which is using like simple ingredients and more natural ingredients and, and this is pretty natural but um and it's actually been working well so we're gonna still gonna keep some of these in stock but i've also been happy with um the other mixture that i've been using and this was another price shock for me i don't buy the butter crisco very often but I do have a couple cookie recipes that um, it calls for that. So it was $8.54 for this tub, and it used to be around $5 um, about three years ago. So glad I'm not buying that every week. And one more Origel in case of emergency, uh, $6.98 for that and also um, some earplugs for me. I work the night shift and we're doing a lot of um, renovating right now. So I got the, wanna make sure I have some in stock while Tim's working during the day so it's not disturbing my sleep. And got some of these chocolate, chocolate chip muffin mixes at Walmart. They were $1.12 a piece. I did buy more than three, but Tim's been enjoying them. <laughs> a little bit. Yep. <laughs> and I was happy to see that they, uh, Walmart finally had their refried beans, the regular ones, in stock. Even online, they were out of stock for quite a while, quite a few weeks. And I'll put the price down below, but I think they were 92 cents a piece. They weren't more than a dollar. 
and these are good until 2027 so that was um, they'll last on the shelf for a long time and I did go to the Dollar Tree a couple times and they're starting to have higher priced items but um, this uh, planter is quite large it's like 13.9 inches across and um, we just needed some more for flowers and so forth this was only five dollars and um, it does have the little um, thing to collect water underneath but we'll probably be using this outside i did get some more um, poop bags for the litter box and these band-aids were a good deal and i love these uh, moisture eliminators for closets and uh, window sills in the winter time they help with the moisture and got two of these uh heavy duty scouring pads these are really rough you don't want to use them on something that's it it will scratch like uh, fine surfaces but if you need it to really clean out your stainless steel sink is these are great so mm. they're and they're much cheaper than getting them at walmart and i love these scoops from the dollar tree they're great for animal feed or if you have your um, rice and so forth in five gallon buckets to scoop out what you need and i also love these um containers they're a great size um for me if i'm sending like whoopie pies to my kids or um, or just for storing smaller items. This is a good size that I like. Got another, got an assortment of toothbrushes to have in stock. And the A1 sauce, sauce <laughs> is also a great deal at the Dollar Tree. If you use that, this is a five ounce bottle. You're paying about $3 a little bit or more at um, Walmart for this size bottle. And we love these uh, scrubbing brushes from the Dollar Tree as well. Uh, I think they're mostly for a toilet brush, but right. we love them for um, so dishes. They're really, the bristles are pretty stiff. Yeah. But the ones they make for the dishes are so soft they go bad fast. These work great and they last a long time. Yes. And then if they get dirty, you throw them in the dishwasher. Yep. <laughs> So I hope this was helpful for you. I think it's always helpful to watch other pantry videos to see what other people might be stocking in their pantries. It might trigger um, an idea that you, maybe you want certain items in your pantry and what you should be stocking up on. Please let us know what you are stocking up on. If there's items that um, you definitely wouldn't want to be without. <laughs> We want to thank you for joining us today. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you ever haven't already done so. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.